Hello everybody, what's happening? You're here on nzblokes.co.nz with Dave and this is a review of the Square Enix title Sleeping Dogs which is available now for the Xbox 360, PS3 and PC. This game follows in the spirit of its PlayStation 2 and Xbox predecessors the true crime series of games by bringing together hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, gunplay and vehicles into a large open sandbox and providing a compelling storyline to keep players interested. You must be a very dangerous man, Wei Sheng. That is exactly what we want people to think. The setup for the story is pretty straightforward. Wei Shen is a detective who's come back to Hong Kong from the United States and is placed in a deep cover role to infiltrate the Sun On Yi triad and work his way up the ranks. As he moves through the missions, his loyalties to the HKPD and his triad brothers is put at greater and greater peril. Graphically, this game is excellent. It was reviewed on the PC with a high resolution texture pack installed and it looked great. From the large open spaces of the city to the interiors of the clubs, it's all really well put together. The locations have a distinct atmosphere as well. Now as you complete both the triad and police missions in the game, you unlock points which you can use to add new abilities and bonuses to Wei Shen's arsenal. All of the side missions help you in some way as well, so it never really feels like a grind, and that is a real bonus. The range of skills that you eventually end up with is dizzying, from being able to leap between cars, to slow motion bullet time style gunplay, and all kinds of kick ass martial arts. It's all in there for the taking, if you put in the time. On the version that was reviewed, we found that there were some moments where character interaction was a little rough around the edges, and a couple of others where you'll see an enemy running at a table instead of trying to fight you. And I also found the vehicle controls to be a little loose, but on the whole, it didn't take enough away from the experience to make me want to put my control pad down. Yes, I used a control pad on the PC release. It is a matter of preference, but driving and hand-to-hand -hand was way easier for me with a control pad. Now this is not a new game, but all in all, it does represent great value for money, especially considering its price point in New Zealand at the moment. At the time of this review, some online retailers are selling it on consoles for as low as $30. Once you've taken the time to do all the side quests, that's basically a dollar per hour of gameplay, and that is incredible value. For a rating, I'll give this a solid 8 out of 10. The shortcomings of the occasional glitch and some flaky interaction do not overshadow what is otherwise a well thought out and well executed adventure. Thanks for listening blokes, this has been Dave.